Welcome one and all. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit more. Uh, I did a quick demo with the uh, 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 chat GPT um, yesterday uh, in one of my videos. It was a very quick, quick demo basically asking like how many, how to get 1 million subscribers, etc. Um, I'm going to show you something that's a little bit more um, fascinating and more scary in a ways, but also very, very beneficial, I guess, from a technical standpoint. Um, it, it open chat GPT shows the really how powerful it can be or how truly powerful it can be and I'm I was kind of caught off guard I just happily happened to randomly just put some stuff in here I, I was just out of curiosity because I was like kind of curious to see how to do it and like chat GPT showed me something really impressive so I'm gonna sh share my screen very quickly okay and here we go so what you see here is what is going to be a little surprising. I'm going to type in, let's say, you know, if for those that are familiar with Azure Data Factory, um, you'll, you know, sometimes you'll use the CLI or such, but if you're a Terraform person, then you'll be really surprised about this. So how do I create an, a pipeline in Azure Data Factory via Terraform? Now, initially, I was like thinking, like, okay, nothing's going to work. It's not going to work properly. And then, whoa, okay. I mean, the first two are basically pretty much straightforward. I think you got to understand that. But then this is the part that drew me off completely, the uh, configuration file and then the commands to manage the resource and the example configuration file, which caught me off guard completely. I'm like, whoa, look at that. I mean, seriously, it's – I mean, like, that's a pretty – damn good example i mean i don't need i was gonna you know kind of google it a little bit but look at that i mean like that's really impressive and like the fact that's using the actual uh module um uh you know the azure data factory module which is really surprising in and of itself uh and then you know um there's the pipeline module of course creating the pipeline with the resource group and such and then you got the factory name that you've created and i mean it's it's, it's, it's impressive. And then it's telling you what to do, basically. How do you apply it and such, or like initiate it and then apply it, basically. Um, I mean, that's, I mean, that is like really, really impressive. Um, now let's just, you know, like for those that are not familiar with it, you know, what's a linked list, basically. <laughs> And there you go. I mean, this is really impressive. Um, I, I was like, wait, whoa. And then the fact that it was actually showing you a, a link list in Python caught me off guard. I'm like, wait, what? I mean, granted, it'd be interesting to see if it was done in, like, let's say, um, um, Java. I think Java's link list, yeah. Um, but I was like, whoa. This, like, really blew my mind. The fact that it was doing it in Python. I'm like, okay. And it gave you an example. And it's actually, and it's actually explaining it to you too, which is like really surprising. Can you explain what are data structures, uh, the type of data structures in Python? Now, I mean, that's really impressive. And like, think about it this way. Um, you know, you're going to get people basically getting interviewed. The people that are going to interview, ask something of that nature, that type of question, basically. And all people have to do is just type it very quickly. And then basically, they could just read from it, based, essentially, without having to like do a quick search. And the fact that it's you know, coming up naturally, it's like as though you could discuss it in a way naturally as well, too. Um, it's This is really impressive it can actually like you know really uh well now i got a network error of course but you know in this situation like shows the fact that, like how really powerful this can be now like if i were to create a new chat in this situation um let's say how uh i, I don't know like uh can you explain the difference between 
Um, uh, uh, can you explain the quadratic equation? I mean, come on. I mean, this can actually kind of sort of be your self, sort of your tutor at this point as well, too, which is surprising. I mean, and this is, remember, this is free. So if you are, you're having issues with certain things, you could probably type it into ch uh, chat GPT and then basically get some explanation, pop, maybe a definitive explanation. I mean, some that might need to learn by example um, might, you know, this shows those examples as well, too. Uh, honestly, like, this is a really, really powerful tool. I'm like, I was, I knew how powerful it was, but I didn't think it was this powerful, to be quite honest. Um, the one thing is, I don't know how to exactly stop it in midstream unless you delete it here, basically. But I'm not sure if I'm in the process of wanting to delete. Um, there's another aspect that I was kind of uh, curious about where, um, oh, that, that one's gone, basically. But, like... Uh, how um, can you explain game theory? And I mean, that's, I mean, I, I, we could go on and on for this. I mean, it's up to you basically if you want to do what you want to do. But I mean, honestly, this is, this was really, really impressive. I mean, I was like, what the heck? Um, honestly, this. This, I don't know what to say. I honestly don't know what to say. Um, now, um, for those of you, you know, uh, a little break here for a second. Uh, I'm just going to uh, ask, you know, like, uh, you know, you are at my channel. Um, you are at this video. I'll please subscribe. My channel is basically usually random stuff and such. Um, I will now become a little bit, get a little bit more technical unless other things come into play. Um, so please subscribe. Um, the more subscribers, the better, of course. Uh, I didn't realize why people would always subscribe, but now it makes absolute sense, especially specifically not through the recommendations part, but like you can actually look at other, you know, your subscriptions and then basically see like, oh, some of the video new videos are in place. You could put the note, you know, uh, notify me if, you know, new video is up. I'm not going to say I, I don't think you should need you need to. Um, there are times where I will, you know, do mass, you know, bulk uploads or bulk creations and then uploads at that point. Uh, but most of my videos, I try to keep it under 10 minutes, maybe a little bit under, but definitely under 15 minutes for sure. I won't try to go over anything over 15 minutes unless I'm explaining something uh, or to going into depth in depth detail about something that's uh, technical, uh, whether it be software or tech stack wise or, you know, some kind of, you know, hardware type of thing basically as well, too. Uh, but with that. Um, usually a lot of my channels, uh, or my, a lot of my videos, sorry, I, I just basically, uh, you know, go in unrehearsed, uh, off the, you know, a uh, free basing everything basically. And I don't do a lot of fact checking basically, but you know, like I think you'll see basically it's not that bad. Um, but it's, it's the, coming back to the chat GPT basically, it's really surprising how, um, powerful this tool can be. Uh, and it's I could see why Google is freaking out now. I'm like, you know, they this can and the fact that Bing is incorporating it, and I would not be surprised if DuckDuckGo incorporates it. How fast um, uh, this might uh, take people into this, uh, uh, you know, as far as losing market share, Google losing market, Google sh Google search losing market share to this. Uh, and I, I, I'll be kind of curious to see if there's going to be a mobile app version of this at that point as well, too. And I will not be surprised if there's going to be an AI uh, voice assistant type of thing associated with chat uh, GPT. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. And, like, let me know if you use chat GPT for other stuff as well, too, like, you know, I, that I never thought of, like, in other possibilities that, you know, no one would have thought of. And it actually works really well in. Uh, I mean, heck, it actually writes, sometimes can write some slide decks for you or some papers for you as well, too, if you need to. Um, but with that, I'll leave it at that. And in more case than that, not, it's unfiltered, unedited, and definitely unrehearsed. Until next time.